guys, it's Tanya. So today we are going to be doing a flip through of this journal. Um, I did a craft with me a couple days ago, um, making a uh, page layout in this um, folio. Um, I will link it up here. Um, so anyway, this is the journal and it is a three inch spine and it measures eight by six and a half. Um, this was an old book that I had and this is the original spine right here. Um, I just sewed it to the... Um, this is a uh, corduroy. I sewed it to the corduroy and made a new spine, right? So this spine is so wimpy, you couldn't even do anything with that. So um, <laughs> so I made it into a bigger spine, okay? So this is what it looks like. I have this gorgeous velvet ribbon um, holding it all together, right? And we have all the strings. Now, if you don't like the strings, you're more than welcome to cut them off, okay? So we're gonna go into it and hopefully, um, it will not be a long video, okay? All right, so this is where the journal um, sits right here. This is just a simple writing journal, right? Um, nothing but vintage pages in here, right? And a couple pieces of coffee dyed paper. But for the most part, I tried to put vintage pages in here so that you guys um, can write and make it your own. And um, if you guys do not, uh, this is a pocket. If you guys do not like the cover or the string that I use, you guys, this is a vintage envelope, you guys are more than welcome to unbound it and put it in a setting that you guys like more, okay? Um, but I just wanted to do a quick flip through. Normally I wait to the end, but since it was just a simple um, writing journal, I figured we could do this one first. Um, oh, and I had recently purchased some um, some vintage things from Creative Girl Cafe or Susie. I know her name is Susie, and I think it's Creative Girl Cafe. I will definitely link her shop down below. Um, she also has a YouTube channel, and I think she has a Facebook. So I know you guys probably already know her. Um, but anyway, this is um, Onion Skin. I'm so excited about it. Um, Okay guys, sorry about that. Then we have some uh, vintage um, music uh, paper. This is like just like, you know how um, you type the lyrics out um, on a sheet and you hand it to everyone at choir practice or something like that. Um, this is that. And then, um, I was did I tell you guys about the ledger that I got? I don't know. Okay, anyway, this ledger, I got it in a ledger pack from... I will link the shop down below. It's an Etsy store, but the ledgers are beautiful and they are real reasonable. So, but this is the journal and this is using Tim Holtz backdrops and memorandum. Okay. So that is that. And so, um, when I first started this journal, I was going to do a tag journal. And so that is why you kind of have the tag elements to it. So, um, you take it out. Um, you have this pocket right here. Okay guys, so you just have a little envelope and it flips up and then you can take something out. It has something in there, it's just a tag, right? And then it looks like this on the back, right? And then this is to show you guys that you have something in there, right? And then we have some stamps right here and we have focus on the good, right? Okay, and then it flips over. Hold on guys, like this, so this flips over like that and you have some tuck spots and then you have things and everything. I'm not going to take everything out because I tried to put as many things as I could in here. This is a vintage um, landscape um, picture. I thought it was really nice, right? And so then we have, of course, something clipped right here. We have something right here. This right here unclips like this. So it flips like like this right and when it flips like this you have some things tucked in here of course you have something in there it's a cute picture frame this comes out actually and this goes back in there like this right okay and then this is um, a vintage tag that I got from Susie's shop and this is I wanted to show you guys this this is actually a French um, I don't know what it is, a French letter, yeah, I believe it's a French letter um, that I got a, a while ago and it's from 1888, so I decided to put that in there. And I know um, this is not a French journal, but it feels kind of like a world traveler 
journal to me. Um, then we have a little pocket right here, and then we have some more stuff stuffed in here, right, that she can take out or whomever gets it. Okay guys, so you can take these off if you want to. Uh, this is just, it has the um, look of a tag, right? So this is chipboard, right? So it's a pretty sturdy, um, pretty sturdy, okay? So when you flip it over, you have just a pocket right here and then this em vintage envelope is actually a pocket right there right these are some vintage cards that i had and i just made them into a pocket and they have um gussets in there so they're pretty they're pretty deep pockets right you flip it over and you have flip out so this is an envelope and then it flips like this and then this is a pad right so that's why i have this because it holds it together tuck and then you have a pocket right here, okay? Then you just put that back in there, like this. Well, I'll do that later. Um, okay, so then we have, on this side, we have a tuck spot right here. Then you flip it like this, and then you have a tuck right here, right? And one right here. It flips over. This is um, really sturdy as well. Um, and then this is blank, so you can put pictures here. And then, of course, we have the, um, figure eight pocket thing um I always do that but um you can put something in here and I believe let me let me check yes it is a pocket in there so whatever you put in here um stays in here okay and then you flip it over to the back and we have some vintage glassine right here and then we have another pocket and then this flips down this is an envelope and then it flips down like this, and this is an envelope. Oh my goodness, you can't see that. This is an envelope as well, okay? Flip that back up. And then we have this, and this is a pocket right here. Um, I don't, yeah, and it's a pocket behind here, right? So this opens and is a pocket. And then you flip it over, it's a pocket right here, pocket and pocket, okay? So it goes right there, right? So then we have this side, right? And this is just, um, a vintage, um, what is that y'all? A vintage letter and we have a vintage library card and it's just tucked in here like this, right? And this right here is a vintage slide of course and we have a vintage film strip. I thought that was cool, All right? So then you flip it over and then you have some stuff right here tucked in and this is a pocket right here. We have a vintage letter right and it flips over then you have two pockets right here then you have this is a pocket and this is a pocket behind here Then this opens up and you have some hideaway envelopes in there right like that and then it's a pocket behind here right so I thought that was cool like that and then you flip it over and of course we have another big pocket and then we have pocket right here and then you open this up. Yeah, the string is, okay. You open this up and then you have this right here, which I showed you guys in the other video. So we have some pockets right here. And then these are the um, printables that, all these are the printables that I have on my Flickr for you all. Um, I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys um, checked it out and I hope you guys are enjoying them as that. And then this flips over, right? And then this unflips like this and then you have this pocket right here and then you have a pocket right here and then you have this pocket right here and so um, you can I left these kind of blank so that you can put your pictures on here and everything so these are really sturdy you know um, they're just not cardstock they're made with heavy duty um, file folder as well so that everything is pretty tough and um, it won't bend right with the weight and then this is just a pocket right here um, and we did this one together this is the one that we did together right so you have a pocket and a pocket behind here and then you have this cute setup right here pocket pocket a little envelope right here this is a pocket and then this is a pocket and this is a pocket right so we did that in the um, video Okay, and then we have this pocket, 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 and pocket. All right, 
So um, that is the complete flip through of this journal. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sorry about fumbling. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Hey guys, so if you want to check out some things that I am doing, I do post on my TikTok and I do post on my Instagram story. Not so much in um, my posts, but on my stories I do. So if you guys are not following me, you guys, please follow me <laughs> on Instagram and TikTok. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yes, like, subscribe. And share the video. That would be great, guys. Um, thank you to whomever purchased this journal. I really appreciate you. And God bless. Bye.